Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, 10 Ways to Wear It. I'm Alicia and on this channel, I take one fashion item or one fashion trend and show you all 10 different ways to wear it. Now today's video is gonna be a huge end of the year collective haul. Y'all know I've been trying to level up my style over the past year and today's video is gonna be very representative of how I will be dressing in 2023. These items are so bomb. I have items from ASOS, Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack, Nasty Gal, River Island, and I even have something from Gucci. Yes, your girl leveled up and picked up something for her herself real real nice if you want to see how I will be dressing next year and all the lovely items I've added to my wardrobe let's go ahead and jump right into this video Okay, everybody, I am so ready to jump into this haul because the items are so good today, y'all. They are so, so good. But I wanna start off with my accessories per usual. I wanna show you those first, and I have a few here. And let me tell you, it's the boots for me. It's the boots for me. It's the boots for me. <laughs> Look, y'all, I really can't sing, but I try. <laughs> the first pair of boots I wanna show you guys are gonna be these over the knee, genuine suede Charles David boots. As you can see, they are in a forest green. And when I tell you these boots are bomb, girl, girl, they're bomb. You'll see them on me with the outfit that I'm wearing in just a few minutes. So I'm not gonna insert anything wearing them because you're gonna see them when I step back to show y'all the clothes. But they have a nice little two and a half inch, three inch heel, which is perfect for your girl to walk in all day. They are so tall and they have that nice suede feel and that nice suede smell. Mm, I love the smell of real leather, y'all, but these are so nice. They were about $200, and you can get them on the Nordstrom website and the DSW website, but they are the same price on both. They're about $209, but you know, Genuine Suede is always gonna be a little bit more priced up. You can certainly get some similar boots in Faux Suede, but I think those are worth the investment. They feel so good on, and they just slip on so easy. I don't have any problems getting them on or off. So yeah, no struggle with those, I love them. The next pair of boots I wanna show you guys are gonna be these Jeffrey Campbell boots. These are called the, what are they called? Guido, Guion, something like that. I have these already in brown, but I decided to go ahead and pick up the red since they had them on the Nordstrom website. So bomb again. Another, another boot with a nice size heel. This is only about a three, three and a half inch heel, which I don't go over three and a half inches, and they are so comfortable. I will insert some pictures right now of me wearing these. I recently wore them to Big Bear in the snow, and the fact that I was able to walk around in these boots in the snow and not bust my butt was like amazing. They are so, so bomb, you guys. I love them, and I got them in an eight and a half. Both of, my, both of these pairs of boots are in a size eight and a half. I usually buy any heels or pointy toe shoes in a size eight and a half, but I normally wear a size eight. The next pair of shoes I'm gonna show you, these aren't boots, they're shoes, and they are, <laughs> ah, they are just everything, y'all. These right here. Now, these might look familiar. These are by INC from the Macy's website. As you can see, they're like real strappy. They have a three and a half inch high heel. They are nice and comfortable. Zip back entry, but they might look familiar because I actually already have these in brown and I brought out the brown ones here. I love the chocolate brown one so much, so I had to add the red when I saw the red ones. I don't know if they had red already, but I just came across them, and so I was like, yes, gotta have them. These shoes are so sexy on your feet, and they're really, really comfortable. And so that's why I decided to add the red. I don't know why I didn't get the black. I'm still kind of contemplating why didn't I get them. Did they not have my size, or were they sold out? I don't know what the issue is or why I didn't get black, but I'm definitely gonna go back and look for black after I finish shooting this video, because these are, like I said, very comfortable, and they're sexy, and they go with just about anything. So love these, and these are again by INC from the Macy's website. The last pair of boots or shoes I'm gonna show you are gonna be these cream colored square toe leather boots from Nasty Gal. Now these were another item that, th these were about $118 because they were half off. I think the regular price was like $230 or something like that. But again, worth every penny, genuine, real leather. These will last me a long, long time. And I really love the way they look. They're super, super sleek on. These are great for all your like neutral, cream colored outfits, brown outfits, gray outfits, taupe and things like that. Any of those outfits that you struggle with matching shoes to, these will probably go really well with. You know, all your cute little sweater dresses and your little knit outfits and stuff. These are bomb, and I love the heel height. Again, this is only about a three and a half inch heel, so very, very comfortable for me personally, and I just love the way they look, and you will see these on with, I think, one or two of the outfits that you're gonna see in a little bit. The last accessory that I want to show you guys is gonna be a scarf. I've been obsessed with forest green lately. 
So I just been buying everything forest green. Uh, you know how you get stuff on a color? That's how I am right now with forest green. So I picked up this really nice like wool blend scarf. This is from ASOS. It's so, so beautiful. And it's a really big scarf that you can kind of wrap around you. I'll throw it on so you guys can see right now. But it's like so nice. The color is beautiful and very festive. So had to pick that up and add it to my forest green collection because it's definitely building. But those are the accessories, just a few pairs of shoes and or boots and um, this really lovely scarf. So now that you've seen those, let me go ahead and get my rack in place so we can get into the clothes because, ooh, they're so good. Okay, you all, my baby rack is in place, but before I get into the items, I'll share my OOTD. I am wearing this really cute striped green and white shirt. This is from Shein. Very affordable, you know, one of my little Shein moments. Y'all know they always pop up here and there. On the bottom, I have on this really cute split denim skirt. This is from the brand Cider. Now, I've shared that brand with you all in the past. Um, the website, I think, is www.shopcider.com. I will link this skirt below, and I'm wearing it in a size extra large. But as you can see, it has that huge u-shaped split really cute showing off my green boots of course you guys just saw those these are my charles david over the knee boots and you can see how tall they are how sexy they are girl yes anyway that's the outfit of the day my earrings are old from h m but yeah that's the look let's go ahead and get into this rack because i know y'all see the gucci i know you see it Okay, y'all, I had to go ahead and take out my candy cane pillows because I looked at the last clip and I was like, it looks so busy in the background. Like, it's Christmas time, so, you know, you're going to see a little bit of busyness with my tree back here, but the pillows was a little too much. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the rack. The first item I want to share with you all is going to be my luxury purchase. I don't often buy myself these luxury items, but I feel like, why don't I? Like, I literally work my A off doing this and my regular job and doing whatever I can for my friends and family. So I feel like, you know what? I deny myself a lot of things and it's time that I stop doing that. So anyway, I saw these shorts on Pinterest on a sister and she styled them up so cute. I will insert the image on the screen right now so you all can just see where I got the idea to even get them from. I thought that outfit was so cute with the loafers and the socks and a little black crop top. And I was like, what are those? Like, where did she get those from? Looked them up, found out they're Gucci men's shorts. They have a matching jacket, but I don't need the jacket. It's very masculine. But I thought if I can get my hands on those shorts, what I can do with those shorts, and guess what? I got them. The regular price of these is $1,150, but I got them for $726. <laughs> I got them on a website called Setire during their Black Friday sale, and it was just one of those blessed lucky finds. I really, really wanted these shorts, and I got them in a size uh, Italian 50, which is also a US 34. Now, I'm not a size 34 waist, but with men's sizes, it can be a little tricky because we have hips, we have more meat. You know, men's sizes, I usually will size up, so I got them in a size 34. You all will see them on in the insert right now. They are worth every penny of that $726, and I'm not even gonna lie, I probably would have paid the $1,150 for them, but thankfully they were on sale. They look so cute. I styled them up with a little boussier and like my um, brown leather um, blazer from Nasty Gal. Such a cute look, such cute shorts. I am obsessed. Y'all are gonna see these a lot next year, okay? A lot. The next few items you're gonna see are gonna be from ASOS. I have quite a few items from there. The first is gonna be this gorgeous orange cropped blazer. This blazer is so, so cute. It goes up to a size 14, runs slightly oversized and very boxy. You can certainly size down if you want it fitted. Mine is in a US size 12, and I just love the brightness of it. This is definitely gonna be a piece that I'll be wearing a lot next year as well. You can style this up with jeans, over dresses. I styled it with a white shirt dress from Zara, and I just love the way it looks. Super, super cute really bright bold piece that you all are also going to see a lot. <laughs> the next two items I got from ASOS I got with the intention to style together. The first is going to be this really cute olive green sweater. As you can see it's like a wide knit sweater. It's super nice. I love olive green. It's just one of those colors that I gravitate towards all the time. I am an olive green girl but I've been loving the forest green like I said earlier. But I picked that up in a size UK 14 so I'm guessing that's a US size 10 but yeah that's the size that I got on that I will link it below just so I can you know make sure it's the correct size but I also picked up this faux leather olive skirt 
and as you can see it's a pleated skirt i thought this was absolutely adorable i love pleated skirts they're still very much trending but i've always liked these pieces because y'all know your girl is into like that preppy ivy league you know tennis club type of look i like that look i don't know why i just do i always have but i thought this was so cute in like a faux leather olive green so i got these two pieces with the intent to wear them together and you will see them on in the insert together they are both so nice i really really love these pieces as like a nice monochrome moment but also having a little bit of fun with that pleated skirt chunky sweater on top this is certainly an outfit that i plan to take with me on some vacations i have coming up because i think it's just so so cute i love a good winter vacation because i don't know why i feel like i tend to just slay more with my outfits when i go on winter vacations where it's chilly at my vacation destination <laughs> The next item that I picked up from ASOS is these faux leather trousers. As you can see, they have a belt to them. They have pockets, a little bit of pleating in front, not too much, and they are so nice. They're sort of like a peg leg shape, and you'll see them on in the insert styled up with a tan sweater and some tan flats. Size large is what I got here, and I really like these pants. These are definitely something that is like a staple in my wardrobe, but unfortunately, I burned my other faux leather pants, so I had to get rid of them. So I was on the market for another pair and these are perfect. I love the high waist on them and I love that they came with that belt. The next item I have from ASOS is gonna be this gorgeous, like elasticized maxi dress. I was drawn to this dress because as you can see, it has all these like elastic lines in it, making it very unique. ASOS really does a good job coming up with some cute dresses. And this is from the ASOS um, design brand. This is in a size US 14. I did get it slightly oversized because of how I intend to wear this piece, but you'll see it on in the insert styled up with my All Saints combat boots because I love that contrast of like a frilly dress with combat boots. Throw on a moto jacket with it. You can even do a blazer. You can do a nice pea coat trench coat whatever you want to do over this but I really like this dress it's such a such a nice dress and it does run slightly oversized I have bought it with the intent to wear it oversized but also to belt it here and there to kind of give me that volume on the bottom so you can certainly get the size that'll work for you but this is a size US 14 and I would say this dress does run slightly big so keep that in mind when you order it the next item that I picked up is gonna be these Nike green Bermuda shorts. They are sweat shorts and they are so nice. Like I said, I've been on a forest green kick and I got these with the intent to wear them with another item that I have here. They are in a size medium because these shorts run huge. I have these Nike shorts in another color, in like a beigey, taupey color, which you all saw in another haul a few months back. So I decided to pick up the green ones, but I learned from getting that, those taupe ones that they run really big. So I got them in a medium this time. And you'll see them on styled up with this zip front pullover from Adidas. Like I said, the forest green vibes. It's there. <laughs> I'm loving this color right now. I picked this up in a size large, size large on the pullover. And I love this pullover because it has like the black Adidas on the back, but otherwise it's just really, really super simple. I like my athleisure to be very cool, very comfortable, modern, but I don't like too many frills on it. I would never wear nothing with like printed all over it or anything like that. I can't stand that. So I like it when it's pretty plain, just with like one logo. And this one is like almost barely there in the black on the back. So you'll see these pieces styled together in the insert really cute outfit that i can just throw on for the weekend or if i'm going for my long walk put it on with some sneakers um yeah that's gonna get worn a lot <laughs> the last item that i have from uh, asos is also sort of a casual athleisure piece and it's this nike t-shirt as you can see it's like a tan slash toe color it has the embroidered nike emblem right there i picked this up in a size large does run oversized you'll see it on in the insert styled up with those like beige colored Nike Bermuda shorts that are also the same shorts as those green ones. That's how I style it in the insert. But yeah, I love a good simple t-shirt. Again, something I can throw on when I'm going for my long walk or on the weekend or if I'm going for my, you know, hair appointment, massage appointment, nail appointment, whatever I'm doing, going to get my toes done. I can throw this on with those shorts and be out the door looking cute. So yeah, those are my items from ASOS. Let's go ahead and move on to another awesome retailer and some really great pieces. The next few items I have to show you all are from Nordstrom as well as Nordstrom Rack. And this is mostly going to be outerwear. And the first item from there is going to be this stunning leopard trench coat. This is from Nordstrom Rack. It's by a brand called Dolce Cabo. And I got this jacket in a size medium. 
Um, they didn't have any more larges. I think they only had like small and like 2X and I figured the 2X would be too big and I didn't want it too big. I wanted it to be a little bit fitted so that I can belt it like over stuff. So I got it in a medium and it fits really, really well. You all will see it on in the insert. Start up with another item that I have here, but I really love this coat. What a great find on the Nordstrom Rack website. I love Nordstrom Rack and I love that Nordstrom has maintained Nordstrom Rack. Um, they got rid of their Hope Look website, which used to have like, you know, brands and stuff like that, different brands like doing feature items. They got rid of that, which I used to love Hope Look, but I'm so glad that they still have Nordstrom Rag because, you know, Nordstrom, like I said, they about that coin. I've said that in a few videos. Nordstrom is about that coin, so it's nice to have Nordstrom Rack to find like really cute items that are at more reasonable prices. This jacket, I think, was about $70. The regular price was $85, so... Pretty good deal for this coat. I will wear this forever. I love leopard print, y'all know that. <laughs> the next item that I picked up is gonna be from the Nordstrom website, and it's this red double-breasted blazer. This is by the brand Mango. I got this in a size 2X, so XXL. And um, yeah, really, really nice blazer. I want it to be slightly oversized because I'm planning to take it to Paris with me, and we'll be going in January, and so it's cold, and I wanna be able to like wear a chunky striped sweater or something underneath it, but I love this blazer so gorgeous i am in love with it i love a good double-breasted blazer with gold accents there's just something about it that just screams like elegance money you just look so polished in it it's almost like you can't go wrong you can throw on a graphic tee and jeans with it and it will always look good so i love double-breasted blazers especially when they have like nice gold accents that is my jam the next item that I picked up is going to be from Nordstrom Rack as well. And it's this silver, I don't know if you would say this is a denim coat because it's made out of like a faux leather type of material, but it's the shape of a denim coat. It's by a brand called Cult of Individuality. The regular price of this coat was about 400, I think 450 or something like that. Um, but I got this coat for, I think it was around 160. I can't recall the price, you guys, but I'll have it linked below. But let me tell you why I bought this coat. When I go to like concerts and stuff like that, especially at like the Hollywood Bowl, that's like an outdoor venue, it can be a little bit chilly. And when I go to concerts, I really like to like step it up the way I look. I like to step outside of the box. Like I just want to stand out. Concerts are the time that I really will put on something very unique, very interesting. You guys saw when I went to the Ashanti concert, I wore those Bermuda shorts and like that web top. I always like to just step it up and do something a little funky at a concert. So I figured this would be really, really cute to wear like over a simple black tank dress or over a black jumpsuit or over like some black jeans and like a t-shirt or something like that to really jazz up an all black look. And this jacket has studs on the front. It has studs across the top of the back. It's super heavy, has some stars going down the back. I just love all of the details on it, the little bolts on the, the sleeves and the stars on the front. It's just a very detailed jacket and it will look so nice over an all black outfit. It is a men's jacket. I got it in a size extra large. I had originally bought it in a 2X, but I had to send that one back because it was too big. But I did want it slightly oversized. So yeah, got it in an extra large. This is gonna look so cute with an all black outfit and my silver boots. I can't wait to wear this, but you all will see it on in the insert styled up with the black dress and my silver boots. <laughs> I love this jacket. It's a really, really cute, very jazzy coat. Something I'll have forever again. When I'm 60, I'll still be wearing this studded silver coat, okay? Because that's how I roll. <laughs> The last outerwear item that I picked up from Nordstrom Rack is gonna be this little shearling coat. And this is just a throw on piece. Like I said, when I go for my long walks and stuff like that, I like to look cute. So I can throw this on over some leggings and like a simple top and it will keep me nice and warm. It has pockets in the front. It's like a nice little high neck on there and it has this beautiful like, I don't know, cow like print on it. It's gray and black. Just a really nice coat. You all will see it on in the insert style that's simple with some leggings and some sneakers. And yeah, I love this little coat. So, and this is in a size extra large and it's by a brand called Sage Collective. So again, from the Nordstrom Rack website. The next item that I have to show you guys is gonna be from the Nordstrom website. And I'm kind of switching back and forth between Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack because I mean, 
they're sisters, right? <laughs> it's gonna be these super wide leg Levi's. I really like these. I picked these up in a size 30. Normally I wear a size 31 in Levi's, but I figured these will run a little bit big and I'm glad that I did get the 30s because they fit perfectly. They are, like I said, very, very wide leg jeans and I really like them. You'll see them on in the insert style of super simple with a black button down shirt and yeah really really nice pair of jeans if you're into wide leg high-waisted jeans these are absolutely perfect and like i said mine are in a size 30 the length is a size 32 and they're just a really nice pair of jeans i love them i love them cannot wait to take these again on one of my little upcoming vacations these are definitely going to steal the show <laughs> The last two items that I picked up are gonna be also be from Nordstrom Rack, and it's these two high neck crop sweaters. These are by the brand Elodie, and I got both of them in a size extra large. You can see they're kind of short, long sleeve, high neck, and I thought these would be perfect to wear with like high waisted jeans. You know, you could even do like some simple leggings, like faux leather leggings with them. Sometimes I just get tired of like long sweaters and I want a sweater that either stops like right at my waist or that's a little bit cropped. And these are perfect. I picked it up in this gray, which you'll see on in the insert right now. Really, really cute. You know, just a nice, simple, basic neutral sweater. And then I also picked it up in this sort of brownish tannish color. I really like both of these. This one will go great with this pair of boots that I have, my tan boots from ASO. So I can throw this on, simple pair of Levi's or jeans, and then my little tan boots and I'm out the door. So pieces like this really do come in handy. But again, these will be great for my little upcoming winter vacations as well. Cause I'm going to Atlanta, I'm going to Paris. Got some stuff coming up and your girl is gonna be looking real cute on those trips. But let's go ahead and move on to some other items. The next few items I have to show you all are going to be from River Island. And unfortunately, all of my River Island items haven't arrived. I actually ordered a few more items from their Black Friday sales, but they haven't arrived. So I'll just show you all the two items that I have so far. The first is gonna be this sort of cream colored metallic skirt. If you can see the shine on that, this skirt is beautiful. Maxi skirts are trending heavily right now. I actually picked up a really cute maxi denim skirt from ASOS, it's black. I got that like early this year, so they've been trending for quite a while and I love it. I love the conservativeness of it. Y'all know I'm not hooch like that, so I love when like super conservative trends come out, but I love this skirt. As you can see, it's very pearl-esque. You'll see it on in the insert style with the high neck sweater and those cream boots from Nasty Gal, those leather boots. It looks so nice, very neutral, gorgeous outfit that I cannot wait to wear in Paris. This look is so, so cute. My skirt is in a size US 10. You all know normally I get 12s, but I'm kind of in between sizes still right now. So I got this in a 10 and it fits perfectly. You all saw it on in the insert. Really, really cute skirt from River Island. River Island always slays, y'all. Just always slays. I love me some River Island. And I love that it has the little kick pleat in the front, the little opening. This skirt is so cute. And I actually have this skirt coming in a faux leather in black. But unfortunately, like I said, it hasn't arrived yet. They kind of ship things separately. Uh, the next item that I picked up from River Island is so cute. It's this padded shoulder faux leather vest. It's almost like a blazer. You can see how it's cut in the front. It has two buttons there. And I just love it. I got this in a size US 12 and it's really, really cute. You always see it on the insert. This piece uh, um, runs slightly oversized, keep that in mind. But I like the fit of it actually. You can wear this with sweaters. You can wear this with a nice turtleneck dress. You can wear this over a lot of different pieces just to like really jazz them up and make them look super cool. Cause this is one of those cool pieces. So yeah, really love this faux leather um, base blazer vest, I guess you could call it. Really, really cute piece from River Island. The next couple items that I have here are going to be from Nasty Gal. And these are gonna be the last two items in the haul, actually. The first is gonna be this really simple graphic t-shirt. As you can see, it has the band Outcast on the front, Andre 3000, and uh, what's his name? God, I don't forgot the members of Outcast, y'all. Forgive me, <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> but yeah, it has them on there, and it just says Outcast, nice little pop of red. Like I said, this is from Nasty Gal, and I picked it up in a size a large. Cute little t-shirt. I don't forgot the members of Outcast, y'all. I, I haven't been listening to rap that much lately anyway, though. <laughs> the last item I got, also from Nasty Gal, is gonna be this very colorful coat. This coat, just called my name when I saw it. I was like, oh yes, oh yes, add to cards. I think it was probably about $98, something like that. I got it in a size US 12. Runs very oversized, so keep that in mind. It has pockets in the front, nice big pockets. 
it's a beautiful, beautiful bright coat. And you'll see it on in the insert, just styled up with a simple black turtleneck dress and some booties. And this coat, again, going with me on my vacations, very, very warm, cozy, but also a nice pop. So you can wear this with a black top and jeans and boots. You can wear this over a black turtleneck dress like I did. You can wear this with like a fluffier black dress. There's a lot of ways you can style up a piece like this. And you can also pull out any of the colors in this coat and style like a top in that color with some jeans or black jeans or full leather pants or something like that. So there's a lot of ways you can style a coat like this. Something like this can be a little bit intimidating, but y'all know Alicia's gonna work it because y'all know how I feel about color. I love this coat and all of this stuff. Thank you all so much for checking out this huge end of the year collective haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked all of the items that I picked up as well as my styling. And per usual, all of these items will be listed in the description along with my sizes for reference. So if you're interested in picking up any of these items or recreating any of my looks, just check that description down below. All of the items are linked there. But I wanna thank you all again for watching. Like I said, your girl is about to level up for 2023. It's about to get real snatched up in here in a lot of different ways ways because I'm on a health journey. I'm going to be sharing that with you all in an upcoming video. I'm just trying to make some all around changes to live my best life. So uh, let's go into the next year looking real fly and being real fly inside and out. So I encourage you all to do the same. Get on this journey with me. It's going to be a real ride y'all. I love you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe before you go into all my regulars. I'll see y'all in the comments and I'll see y'all on the next video. Love you. Bye.